Good morning everyone. Welcome to Storytime at Home with Marimbin on Libraries. I'm Christine. It's fantastic to see you again. Are we going to have some fun today? We've got some stories for you. I've got some stories about boats and tractors. Does that sound like fun? All right, well let's start off with our hello song. You ready? Are you going to clap your hands and stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you reach up high? And can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? And can you say hello? Hello everyone. All right, let's stomp our feet. You ready? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? That's it. Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Good one. Can you reach up high? And can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? And can you say hello? Very good. All right, let's do it one more time. You've got those clapping hands going. Ready? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you reach up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? And can you say hello? Hello! All right then, let us do zoom, zoom, zoom. Shall we go to the moon? You ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Woohoo! Off we go to the moon. All right, let's go. We've got some great stories, as I said today. The first one we're going to read is Brilliant Boats by Tony Mitten and Ant Parker, and it's published by Macmillan. Shall we have a look? Who likes going on boats? I sure do, like going on the sea on a boat like that. All right, let's go. Boats are really brilliant for sailing us around. They travel through the water with a sloppy, slappy sound. Have you been on a boat? It's fun to go out boating, especially in the sun. The water's cool and sparkly. So come on, everyone. Woohoo, that sounds like fun. A boat sits on the water like an empty bowl or cup. It's hollow and it's full of air and that's what keeps it up. An anchor holds you steady when you're bobbing in the bay. You wind a chain to raise it and when you want to sail away, pulling up that anchor. Over lakes and seas and rivers, wind blows very strong. Some boats have sails to catch it, so it pushes them along. To manage boats with masts and sails, you need a clever crew. The captain is the one in charge who tells them what to do. And he says, aye aye, captain. <laughs> A dinghy or a rowing boat is useful near the shore. You make it travel backwards by pulling on each oar. We'll do row, row, row your boat after the story, I think. A motorboat is powered by a propeller from the back. It whooshes through the water and it leaves a foamy track. Look at that, whoosh through the water. And just in case by accident you tumble from the boat, you have to wear a life jacket made to help you float. Well, that's good, isn't it? Some butts boats go out fishing where the ocean waves are steep. Their nets are cast to catch the fish and then haul them in from the deep. Look at that, a big haul of fish coming in. A ship can carry cargo, which is loaded on the docks. Hump, ho, look out below. Here comes a giant box. Look at that giant box. A 
Ferry carries cars and lorries where they need to go. The people travel up above and the vehicles, they stay below. Have you ever been on a ferry like that where you drive onto the boat? A mighty ocean liner has a big and busy crew. It carries many passengers. They're waving now. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> The ship has cosy cabins where the passengers can stay and out on deck they stroll about and watch the sea or play. They do all sorts of things on those boats there. There's even a swimming pool in this one. But when the journey's over, ahoy, the lighthouse rock. The ship glides into harbour and ties up at the deck. Dock. There it is. In it comes. And that's the end. And these are all the boat bits. Look at that. We've got a lighthouse and an anchor and the oars and the propeller. And that's the deck of the boat. And that has the cabin there and the name of the boat. Well, that was a good story, wasn't it? So let's do row, row, row your boat. You ready? Have you got your oars? You can sit down, you can stand up to do this, and it's like this, and we're gonna row, row, row your boat. You ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a croc, Crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! All right, that was fun story about boats and singing about boats, isn't it? So our other story today is also by Tony Mitten and Ant Parker, and it's called Tremendous Tractors. I'm just come in a bit closer because this is only a little book, so maybe you can see it a bit better now. All right. Tremendous chuggy tractors, so sturdy and so strong, connecting up to the farm machines and pulling them along. Look at that. Their big black tires have solid treads which help them not to slip. These chunky treads can chew the ground and get the wheels to grip. Look at those big wheels. A tractor works on farmland, so its body must be tough. It sits up high above the ground for farmland can be rough. To grow their crops, the farmers have to start by sowing seed. But first, to break the ground up, a plow is what they need. Look at that big plow pulling up all the ground there. A tractor pulls the plow across the field up and down. The plow blades cut the soil into furrows rich and brown. The tractor hauls the harrow next to break the soil some more. The metal discs crush up the clods and that's what the harrow is for. Look at that. Gosh, lots of big work happening here. It's time to use the roller now. The long tube rolls around to flatten out the field, pushing stones beneath the ground. The seed drill has a hopper, a seed box that you'll fill. When it's time for planting, the tractor pulls the drill. There they go, all the seeds in there. The seed drill makes a row of grooves in which the seed can drop. The spikes then rake a covering of soil across the top. If the crop's a hay crop, you mow when it's grown. The grass is left in tidy rows to dry when it's been mown. Have you ever seen hay out in big hay bales out in the paddocks? Later on a baler scoop, the stalks up from the ground and shapes them into bales which are bundled square all round. These ones are square, look at those. A bale of hay is heavy so it's very hard to lift. A bale fork on a tractor makes it easier to shift. Gosh, tractors are good, aren't they? If the crop's a grain crop, when harvest time is here, a great big combine harvester can get the whole crop clear. Look at that big red harvester there and all of that, and it goes in there and it comes out this side with all of the grain. 
It cuts the stalks and threshes them to knock the grain right out and then spreads the straw behind it as the grain spills from the spout. Oh, look at that. Bet it's pretty noisy too. A tractor with a trailer shifts bales of straw or hay, rakes food to hungry animals or carries the crops away. The tractor and the farmer work hard and do their best, so when the day is over, they both deserve a rest. They sure do, don't they? Big, hard work on the farm, that's excellent. And that's the end of that. Tremendous tractors, brum, brum. Well, that's all we have time for at Storytime today. Thank you for joining me for those great books about boats and tractors. Maybe you could go and find some colouring in about a tractor. Would that be fun to do and do some colouring in today? All right, we'll see you later. Shall we do our goodbye song? See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon out the door, dinosaur, big one, rah! Take care, koala bear, wave goodbye, butterfly.